Hey everyone, Kaylee here, and today I'm showing you how to do a fishtail braid. I've got a couple different methods to appeal to anyone and everyone, whether you're great at braiding or maybe not so great. I got you covered. This is part of my new braid encyclopedia series where I'm going to be doing just basic braid how-tos so that you can follow my videos. Whatever the video is, you will know how to do all the different braids that I'm showing you in the video. We're starting off with this one. Tell me which one you want to see next in the comments below. And that being said, I think it's time to get to this tutorial. So let's get started. I'm actually gonna give you guys three different explanations for the same braid because all of our brains work differently. The first one is basically big picture. It's for those of you guys who need to get it in your head and then your fingers do the rest. The other is literally the opposite. I'm gonna teach you exactly what to do with your fingers while your head just catches on to what's happening. And then the final one, I'm gonna call the confidence builder. You don't need to have really great like finger dexterity. You don't need to be great at braiding. So if you really get confused by the first two, stick around, I got you on that third one. All right, big picture peeps, here we go. We're gonna start with two sections, so go ahead and get that ready to go. Then step one is to pick up a small piece of hair from one side, it will look a little something like this. Step two, is to put it into the other section. You repeat that on the other side. Step one is to pick up a section of hair, like so. And step two is to transfer it to the other side. Once again, step one, pick up a section. Step two, transfer it to the other side. Then you switch sides. Step one, pick up a section. Step two, transfer it to the other side. I kind of think of this as like throwing a ball. Like you throw the ball to the other side, and then that side throws the ball back. And then you throw the ball again and it's just like a game of catch all the way down your hair. And there is your fishtail braid. Now let's move on to how to actually move your fingers while you're doing this braid. This entire braid works off of two sections. And you wanna hold your sections like you're holding a pole or a flag. So you wanna wrap your entire hand around it and then you want your hand up as close as possible to the top of the braid as you can get. So step one is to pierce. And by doing that, we're going to create the small section that we transfer over later. You can either pierce with your index or with your thumb. And you're going to do that on the outside of your section. The outside is these sides furthest away from the center of the braid. So if it was like a target, the center would be right here. And then like the outer rings where you barely get any points would be out here that's where you wanna pierce. If you use your index finger, you're gonna go in from the front like so. If you use your thumb, you're gonna come through the back like so. Whichever one works for you, I like using my index finger. So, index finger through, and that separates a little tiny section from the side you're working on. So you have now successfully made a little tiny section that is ready to go off and live on its new home on the other side. So step two is to grab so that it can live in this little house over here. And grab with this hand because your little section is now going over into the other section. Step two, grab. Step three, you gotta cut the umbilical cord with the mother section. So you're gonna slide your left hand down because we're working on the left side right now. Slide your left hand down, cut that umbilical cord. Step four, reset back where you were at the beginning with your two flag poles that are touching the base of your braid. All right, so now we're gonna transition to the other side. So you're gonna pierce again on the outside of your sections out there where like no points are on the target. Pierce, you've got your little baby section. It's all grown up, it's ready to go off to its new home over here. You're gonna grab, then you're gonna cut that umbilical cord by sliding your right hand down because that way it gets all these hairs that are kind of tangled up down here at the bottom to let go. So slide to cut that umbilical cord. And step four, reset, grab both sections like flagpoles and hold it really tight at the base of the braid. And now you have successfully done two sections, you just have to do like 20 more. You got this. Now, without my weird analogy, you're just pierce, grab, slide, reset. Pierce, grab, slide, reset. Another thing I notice that I do is like after I pierce, I kind of like use my thumb and twist my wrist so that I can grab it more easily and then I slide. So once you kind of get the hang of it, you could try that. You pierce and you know, like an extra step in there, twist, grab, slide, pierce, twist, 
grab, slide. It'll just make you faster. If you're still working on the basics, don't worry about that. You just pierce, twist, grab, slide. Pierce, twist, grab, slide. And there you go, fishtail braid. And as promised, I have a confidence builder for those of you guys who might still feel a tiny bit lost. Okay, so you still have to start with two sections. That's part of the rules. But here's what you get to do for the confidence builder. You get to drop one. So you only have to hold one section at a time. Step one, you're gonna pick up a little piece of hair. Step two, you're gonna put it in the hand that's holding your section. Bam. And then step three, switch hands. So pick up the section that's chilling out, and drop the other section. And then you start over again. Step one, pick up a section of hair. Step two, put it in the hand that's holding onto the section. Step three, switch hands. And again, that just means that you pick up the section that's just hanging down and you drop the one that you're holding. Step one, pick up a little bit of hair. Step two, put it in your other hand, switch hands. And one more time, step one, pick up a little bit of hair. Step two, put it in the other hand. Step three, switch sides. So the key to keeping this from falling apart and like destroying your confidence is to keep your hand that's holding your section up as close to the braid as you possibly can. You need to feel that braid on your index finger because if you start dropping it, you're gonna end up with a mess very quickly. I don't think this is really faster than the method that I just showed you guys, but it is so much easier just as far as like what your fingers have to do. Because if you just had like, Pinchers, you could do this. A crab could do this, that's it. It's so easy, a crab could do it. Pinchers. It gets a little harder down here. Crabs would have a little bit of a harder time down here. It's a little bit less perfect and a little bit looser than the last methods that I showed you, but it is a lot easier in the sense that you don't have to be able to articulate your fingers a lot. You could have like, lobster pinchers and it would still work. So if you're not that great at braiding, this braid could be your lobster. Hashtag friends reference. And that is how to do a fishtail braid. I hope you enjoy having your new braiding skills. If you want to try out some more fishtail braided hairstyles, I'm going to link a playlist somewhere around here and in the description box where you can see all my different tutorials that have fishtail braids so that now you can just be a fishtail aficionado. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more hair tutorials for every day, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.